What is going on all you amazing, wonderful watchers out there? Now, welcome back in the Barley Studios. I'm so excited to bring you another awesome video. Now, this is going to be another video in the hydrangea painting here that I've been creating. Now, I did name this Hydrangeas in the Bushes. Uh, just a simple little name just to go along with the overall little small 10 inch by 10 inch round canvas that we've created. Now, again, this is a painting for my mother for Christmas of 2023. Now, I will say that this is just one of a few videos of this playlist, Hydrangeas in the Bushes, that you can find in its full-length content on my YouTube channel. So if you want to check out those other videos, they will be linked at the very end of this video so you can get to that playlist. Now, we've already created the actual hydrangea painting on the 10 inch by 10 inch round canvas here. This uh, canvas is a master touch canvas, and we use Windsor & Newton acrylics to create that. So once the main painting was actually completed, we did use a Liquitex satin varnish on the front and the sides. We only did one layer of that just to apply a little bit of protection to the canvas itself uh, and the painting. Now, once, this, once that is done, I did add a nice light layer of gesso to the back of the canvas just to get a semi-smooth uh, texture as opposed just to the existing raw tooth canvas that we would get normally. And of course, as I've said in multiple painting playlists in the past, I, I really am challenging myself not just to, to paint more, but also to draw more. And by kind of challenging myself to do like one to two hour sketches, uh, I think this one ran into around um, an hour and 10 minutes in total. And that's even with me talking in the background a little bit with my daughter as she uh, crafts behind me. I really am challenging myself to kind of uh, time myself to create some more sketches and drawings. Uh, and this is another way for me to, to really push myself to do so. So yes, it does run about an hour and nine minutes long if you watch the entirety. But I designed this video specifically so that you can really sit back and enjoy it. And I really do like watching uh, other artists while I'm laying in bed before I actually fall asleep. So I do have to come back to a lot of videos uh, uh, after the fact because I do fall asleep. But that's how I kind of design some of these, uh, these videos um, when they're in longer form content in real time. That way also those who really just want to learn or, or kind of like imitate what I'm doing, uh, then they don't have to really uh, look at the, the time-lapse version unless they want to. They can really sit back and enjoy, uh, uh, pay attention to the way that I draw, my, draw and sketch my uh, items out on the subject. Uh, and again, this is on a, a single gesso layer on the back of the canvas. So as you can see here, uh, I did decide to paint a flower and a butterfly, uh, as the title uh, describes there. And what I am going to do is we're going to paint just a nice, simple monarch butterfly. So we're beginning by just painting out some petals here. I'm using a few reference photos from Google Image Search. Uh, and we're just going to kind of just lightly sketch out something super simple. And then it just gives us uh, not just a, a little bit of a challenge to do something different, um, but it also kind of shows you how I like to lay things out on the actual subject here. So, so what I'll do is I'll go ahead and draw, uh, sketch out the petals, and I'll sketch out the main flower, and then I'll sketch out the actual uh, monarch butterfly itself. And at that point, I'll begin to introduce some paints. We'll use a cadmium yellow uh, a hue. We'll use a cadmium orange hue. We'll use a, um, a burnt umber as well as a titanium white. Uh, and I do also introduce a little bit of rose pink. That is a Windsor and Newton rose. It's a very beautiful color, especially when I mix it with some other colors, uh, burnt umber and some titanium white. It really gives us some really good grades of color for our petals. I did also introduce titanium white into the Monarch Butterfly uh, orange hue as well. So just remember that that has quite a bit of titanium white and uh, uh, cadmium yellow hue into the wings as well. Uh, I did go over some of the charcoal areas with a little bit of uh, Gamble's uh, alcohol just to kind of smooth out some of the granules of the charcoal as we go into later stages of kind of refinement of the actual uh, charcoal sketch.
all right you guys so as i let uh kind of lay in the last few brush strokes here we are almost completed with this portion of this amazing painting now i will give this a clear coat i don't want this charcoal to uh, kind of smear in any way i want it to stay uh, nice and tight to the subject here and as i add my kind of artist signature here just onto the back of the canvas just because we did make a piece of art on the back um, um just uh, just so that you know i will put a spray paint layer on this before i actually varnish it um i'm out of a uh, marker so i'll have to buy a marker just to kind of note the date and the uh the name of the painting on the rim of the circle canvas there but i'll do that on to the side I really do hope y'all enjoyed this simple but awesome little fun uh, sketching video. I know there's a lot out there that sketch a lot faster than me, than me uh, but uh, I really do enjoy kind of pushing myself to, to draw more. And as we complete out this long form content here, just remember that I will also release a time lapse version of this as well. Make sure you hit the subscribe button and notification bell to check that video out. I'll see you later, guys.